Hello, welcome once again. Uh, we all know how oil plays a vital role, a major role, obviously, in engines and automotive, um, as a lubricant and also as a coolant. So there is something from Ford that when you have oil level, it's not just enough to have proper oil level. You have to have oil pressure. You have to have an oil pump working and making sure that oil is circulating to the proper places in that engine that it has to. So in response to that, you can have, let's say, synthetic motor oil, motor oil one and all that, mobile one, uh, synthetic brand and all that. But if you don't have an oil pump or you don't have oil pressure, that's th synthetic oil that you just paid more money for, which is instead of 3,000 miles, can be changed every 7,000 miles, let's say. So that mobile one synthetic will, will just play no role, have no purpose. Ford thought of a way to prevent engine damage by low oil pressure. It's not good to have low oil pressure. It's not good to have high oil pressure. Okay? So Ford says, let's think of a way to try to prevent and to save the engine from uh, low oil pressure, which will obviously increase engine wear. So here's the circuit. And this is not a schematic. This is obviously a pictorial. So maybe people understand better. We all know that the battery is associated with the starter relay. And then it goes to the starter. Okay. That's part number one. This is part number one. Okay. This is happening part number one so current flows from the positive through a starter relay which can be triggered by a computer or 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 just a regular uh, relay and then it starts the starter okay while this is happening we have two points of contact two di two directions we have to get to eventually we have to get to the fuel pump because it's just not enough to have a starter because if you don't have a fuel pump, you know what you're going to have? You're going to have a crank and no start. If you don't have the starter, you're going to have a no crank and no start. We don't want either. So while the starter is, the pinion gear is making contact to, to the flywheel, to the crankshaft, then we have to get to first oil pressure, correct oil pressure. And this is an oil pressure switch. You've seen it many times and probably heard about it many times. So in this path over here, we have something called no normally closed bypass. This normally closed bypass path, which is going to, let's say, appear in the connector, is one path that you can reach to the fuel pump. Okay? So as this is happening, current is flowing through the starter relay through the fuse, through a bypass, which is normally closed, but now with a, a bypass, which means it has a different direction. The current is flowing here. Normally closed means it's closed. So therefore, current will flow here through the oil pressure switch to the fuel pump, through the fuel pump, okay? And eventually, once the fuel pump is working, you get fuel, you have proper pressure from the oil pressure switch. It will allow, it will allow the oil pressure switch, and will allow the current to flow to the fuel pump or the voltage to the fuel pump to allow it to start the engine. So in this case, we have a bypass. While the starter is is working, we have another direction for the oil pressure switch to make sure that the proper oil pressure is correct. Then it will send. Uh, uh, um, a, a, a direction, a current, a voltage to the fuel pump of 12 volts, let's say. Okay? That's the that's on the condition that we have proper oil. Let's say we need 30 PSI. 30 PSI. Okay? Once that is happening, we get 30 PSI. Okay? Let's say you have an engine, you have a Vortec, let's say you have um, anything, a Triton, let's say you have a VTEC, Whatever you have, we're gonna. Once that occurs, proper oil pressure is introduced. Is introduced. A fuel pump is now on its way. It's active. We can get fuel. We can get spark. We can get compression. Okay. Then 
this path is taken out, and now this path, the normally open path, is going to be what? Closed. So this is closed. We're going to go through here, through a resistance wire. We see this little loop, a resistance wire, and now this will take over. So this bypass is just the making sure that we have proper oil pressure. Once we have that, 30 PSI or 40 PSI, it'll start off a little higher. It'll go down, obviously, as the oil fit, uh, um, it, it, um, what do you call it, it uh, uh, thins out. It'll go over here. And now we can get the, the engine running. While that, while that is being set, then this one will go over here. We'll go over here. And this one will take over. What's the answer? What's the relationship over here? There's a resistance wire. Because there is a resistance, less voltage will be given to the pump. Let's say instead of 12 volts that it needs, maybe it'll give 11 volts, maybe less. That's to get, slow down the 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 fuel pump and to get lower fuel pressure and to make sure that everything is according to plan so in other words one more time it's a little confusing starting off we need a bypass we have to make sure we have proper oil pressure ford says this is vital we need 30 psi 40 psi to start it okay go over here current flowing through here through this through this one over the connector comes out and goes to through the fuel pump. So in, so in relationship, this is in series with the fuel pump. Now, since it is in series, you can guarantee you can assume what will happen. If this is not working, no fuel pump. So let's say, let's say the oil pressure is too low. Instead of 30 psi, it's 10 psi. 10 psi. Okay, 10 PSI is not enough, or 5 PSI, it's not enough. So what happens? In this path, since this is not enough, this oil pressure switch is not enough, because it's only detecting 10 PSI, then you know what? The fuel pump will be inactivated. It will not activate to activate the engine. So in other words, this will be a safeguard. A protection switch. This protection switch will say, I need 30 PSI. I'm only getting 10 PSI, 5 PSI. That's not enough. If that's not enough, guess what? Fuel pump, you're out of the picture. An X, you're out of the picture, fuel pump, Ford says. You will not work. What does it do? It makes sure that we have proper fuel pressure. And then the fuel pump will be activated. And then... The engine will be activated. It is a protective device uh, uh, used now by Ford. Okay? So, it's a safeguard to say. We make sure if there is not proper oil pressure, this will not work. This will not work. F fuel pressure, fuel pump will not work. So, and basically, we rather have the engine stall because in this case, if we start it, we'd rather have it stall than have low oil pressure go to the engine and not enough uh, oil will be circulated through the engine if it'll keep on running. So we say, you know what? We don't want to take a chance. Let it stall. Let it stall in the middle. At least we'll save the, the engine. That's more important, right? But We'll learn next time, you know what? There's a problem. We have to take care of that problem. So basically what I'm saying is <clears throat> it's not enough to have proper fuel level. You go to the dipstick. You just change. You got an oil change, synthetic oil, right? You just paid $70, right? Guess what? That synthetic brand oil has to have an oil pump pumping the oil, obviously through the oil filter through the galleries until it gets to the proper locations that it has to in a camshaft and all these places and the galleries and all these places so therefore once we establish proper oil pressure this is out of the picture and now we have current flowing here through here through here and we will activate the fuel the fuel pump without proper pressure this will not work. The oil pressure switch 
will say, you know what? This is not working. No fuel pump. Shut off the engine. It might start, but it will shut it off. It'll stall. We rather have that, Ford says, will save the engine than have low oil pressure and damage the engine. So I hope this was uh, um, informative. Thanks for watching. Please go to my channel, Joe Electronics Manic for Auto. Thanks for watching.